Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. Hello. We're looking at getting married. Q&A 2022 from Kerry Minotti. Thank you, Kerry Minotti, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Y'all, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. <laughs> if you guys haven't subscribed to Kerry Minotti already, make sure to do that. There's a link in the description below for the video that we're about to watch. Click on that. Give him a subscribe from there and upvote the video. Thank you, Kerry Minotti, for allowing us to react to this. I feel like so many creators, or we've been looking at a bunch of Q&As from different YouTube channels. I say so many. It's the it's, trend. It's, it's the popular point. thing. I'm like, should we do a QA? and a yes. Do people have questions? Yes. Then they'll be like, you've run out of content. So what? <laughs> shark okay. Tank India. Do you like Shark Tank? Uh, I've never Hello watched sharks. it. What? Hello, Sharks. You've never your father's <laughs> So sharks, as you know, being a middle class father, अपनी बच्चे को पीटना एक hobby बन चुकी है. पर आप कितनी बार चप्पल फेंक के मारेंगे? Damage is almost zero. उसी problem को solve. Emotional damage. Ouch, mummy. घड़ियाल की चमड़ी से बनी है unisex belt. एक father की ना सिर्फ हथियार, बल्कि दोस्त भी है. आप इसे किसी पर भी इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं. Sir, ये belt निशान नहीं छोड़ती. अरे वाह. कमाल है. देखो एक दो fundamental question अभी भी. उस वजह से I'm out. तो कुछ दिन पहले मैंने ट्विटर पे पोस्ट किया था की हैशटैग एक हैरी इस्तेमाल करके अपने सवाल पूछो मुझे पता है पिछले साल हम ये नहीं कर पाए थे पर इस साल डैम परंपरा जारी है तो आओ यार अपनी नाभि में से रुई निकालना बंद करो और शुरू करते हैं बिना किसी बक्चोदी के इज इट ऑफ बीइंग कैरी मिनाटी नहीं नहीं <laughs> देनी होती है वेयर डू यू थिंक यू वुड बी इफ यू हैड चोजन स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी इंस्टेड ऑफ YouTube जेल में कभी आपके पास आकर आपसे झगड़ा किया है देखो ये सब कुछ मजाक है बकचोदी है कुछ लोगों को ये बात समझ में आती है कुछ लोगों को नहीं आती लेकिन इतना बावड़ा कोई भी नहीं है जो घर पे आ जाए इन म्यूजिक वीडियो सलमान भाई जो पर डिपेंड करता है कि वो विवेक ओबरा वाली करते हैं कटरीना कैफ वाली वॉट डू यू थिंक यू वॉर इन योर पास्ट लाइफ खूबसूरत जंगल की वादियों में भगने वाला हिरन था लेकिन क्या करें ऊपर वाले ने अच्छी आंखें दी नहीं तो मुझे गोली आती और उससे पिछले जन्म में मैं एक बच्चों चिड़िया था जो दिन भर गाड़ियों की आवाज निकालती है Who did you feel when one of your videos doesn't perform that well? देखो बुरा सबको लगता है गान सब की फटती है लेकिन कोई भी तुम्हारा बुरा काम याद नहीं रखता सब तुम्हारा अच्छा काम याद रखते हैं तो जब तक बस करते रहो What are your future? I think he's being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> I, I think I think he's being a bit sarcastic. No, there. but I mean, okay, fine. Yes, but also people do remember your good work. They're like, oh yeah, but then they also go, oh yeah, you remember when he was good. And right. now he's not. Right. The plans regarding to buy the channel. Question, question, question. Love you, Kerry. Bye. तो पिछले साल तुमने देखा होगा कि वीडियोस काफी अलग तरह की आई थी और बहुत कम आई थी बहुत लोग कह रहे थे तू बावड़ा हो गया है अब शायद तेरे से वीडियो बन नहीं रही है तो शायद तुम्हें पता ना हो पर मैं हर साल कुछ अलग करने की कोशिश करता हूं पता नहीं बस चुल मचती है मेरे कीड़ा मेरे अंदर तो वो जो स्केच वीडियो थी उन्होंने मेरा सारा वक्त ले लिया और वो इसलिए ले लिया क्योंकि मुझे वो बनानी आती थी नहीं तो मैं भी कर कर के सीख रहा था hmm. बहुत लोग कह रहे थे कि मत कर यार चैनल के लिए बहुत बुरा है जो कि सही बात है लेकिन तुम मेरे नजरिए से देखो मैं उन्हें कब बनाऊंगा जब मैं 40 साल का हो जाऊंगा खैर इस साल मैंने फैसला लिया है कि मैं तुम्हें दोनों चीजें दूंगा रोस्ट वीडियोस भी आएंगी स्केच वीडियोस भी आएंगी तो इस साल बक्चोदी की कमी बिल्कुल नहीं होगी दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग डिलेमा ही वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट बिकॉज़ देयर इज दिस नोशन ऑफ स्टेइंग फेथफुल टू द थिंग यू हैव बीन डूइंग बिकॉज़ इट्स ट्राइड एंड टेस्टेड बट द थिंग इज इवन बिफोर इट गेट्स ओल्ड विद योर ऑडियंस इट कैन गेट ओल्ड विद योरसेल्फ या एंड यू गेट सॉर्ट ऑफ टायर्ड ऑफ इट एंड वांट टू ब्रांच आउट इनटू समथिंग डिफरेंट दैट स्टिम्युलेट्स यू क्रिएटिवली यू नो इन योर सोल लाइक आई जस्ट वांट टू डू समथिंग डिफरेंट दैट स्पीक्स टू मी एंड आई एम ग्लैड ही टुक दैट बोल्ड मूव 
because so many YouTubers get afraid of not uploading as often and, and taking risks because they don't want to lose their audience. Yeah. You know, Casey Neistat talked about how when he stopped doing vlogs for a bit, it was about one week before I stopped being relevant. <laughs> he took a week off and suddenly it's like he didn't even matter. They used to say it's a 24 hour news cycle and I say it's a 24 second news cycle. Like that's how bad it is. Things just move on to the next thing. Yeah, you you yeah. don't even look at the article anymore. You just look at the headline and you move on. Well, that's why I feel like you, you, if you put out one bad video or something, people have such a short memory these days yeah. and they just move on from it so quickly. So the best thing you can do when you put out something bad or that doesn't do well is to just move on to the next thing right. and just try and do better because they're not thinking about that thing that yeah. you did. You I, th know? I think it's awesome that he he went for it though. And he, he's like, yeah. he's doing what he wants to do. I love that he also was honest and was like, yeah, you know, it, it took up a lot of time because I was also learning on the job. But I love that, you know, he honored the creativity within him, which I think is really important because we're called creators on YouTube for a reason. And a lot of the people that do YouTube are inherently very creative people. And so you have to feed into that because, you know, after some time, like you said, you probably start feeling like, oh, that's old yeah. for me and I'm bored. Another reason why I think it's cool is because most of YouTube is just commentary. Most of YouTube is actually just reactions. Yes. Not, And I don't mean like reaction videos, but if you, even if you look at Carminati's like comedic stuff where he's making a commentary, it's, like his, re yeah. it's his reaction to something else. Exactly. Right? It's all, all opinions. Exactly. That's what most of YouTube has become. And I think that it's cool when you still see stuff that's like Ryan George, where even though that is a... Opinion. A, a, an opinion yeah. or a reaction. The Ryan George content on Ryan George's channel is not a reaction necessarily. That is actually like sketch. Yeah, it's a commentary. Know? As opposed to uh, the pitch meetings, which is literally a reaction to the movie, but yeah. in a very creative format, right? And so with his sketches, even though like um, the last one that we looked at, which is the MeTube one, even though it's a reaction... It, it kind of bleeds into whatever category, you know, but like that was definitely a sketch. Yeah. And like next level sketch. And so I think it's really cool when he does that stuff because we don't actually get a lot of just true sketches on YouTube anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, everything has to be, you know, trending. Yeah. And so that's what I meant by Ryan George is like, he's not responding to a trend. He's literally just making a sketch video about what he feels like talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. In total, how many voices can you mimic and choose all of your voices? to us please hello 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 q1 you watch pokemon or hentai pokemon javani mein hentai Population <laughs> 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 and then, when are you getting married? Yeah. <laughs> मैं ना आसमान में दिलचस्पी रखता हूँ घोसलों में नहीं पहले शादी करवा लो फिर डिवोर्स करवा लो फिर आधी जायदाद दे दो फिर सेनाई की धुन पे गाड़ मार वालों अपनी Ever created a script or a video that you didn't release fearing controversy? Videos तो इतनी नहीं है पर स्क्रिप्ट ये लो, ये भी लो, ये भी लो, ये शोभित का पान मसाला, सूरत की फाइनल हिटमैन, घर घर का प्यार, ना जाने कितनी पक्चोदी कहते हैं स्टॉक बोल्ट में, स्टॉक बोल्ट, आर्टिक फॉक्स की नई पेशकश, ये एक ऐसी वस्तु है जिसमें तो फायरप्रूफ, आधार कार्ड, गाड़ी के कागज, जमीन के कागज, मैथ्स का पेपर, ये वाटर प्रूफ है तो तुम इसके साथ नहा भी सकते हो मुझे नहीं पता ऐसा कोई क्यों करेगा पर जिसको जो भाए इसमें वैक्यूम टाइप जिपर है और ये <laughs> I would actually uh, be interested in that if it was fireproof. Yeah. Because that's the bigger thing to me. I guess I'm more afraid of fire burning a document than water 
like messing up it because if it's wet you can still kind of recover it well so long as the ink doesn't bleed yeah i mean if it was wet you could like maybe take a picture of it real quick you know usually it's like oh no i spilled my coffee on it or something you know what i mean yeah, yeah. whereas if it's a fire that means it, oh, shit's burning down yeah that's gone it's, it's arctic fox make it fireproof yeah feel performance pressure before uploading a video aise samjho video upload karna exams ki tarah hai ki bhaiya ek do mahine lag ke tumne apni marwa li aur aaj result day hai to pet mein bulbule phoot rahe hain dil ki dhadkan windy jal se bhi zyada tez ho rakhi hai haathon mein paseena aa raha hai aur youtube ki alag hi bachchodi chal rahi hai pata nahi is baar kaun sa rang dekhne ko milega hara ya peela hara hai to nacho agar peela hai to deewar mein sar de do apna mazay तुम अपने साथ एक डॉल क्यों रखते हो वो ग्रीन कलर का प्लीज बोल दो मैं इसे इसलिए रखता हूं ताकि मैं वीडियो बनाते हुए अकेला ना महसूस करूं ये मेरी मानसिक और शारीरिक दोनों जरूरतें पूरी करता है बीस्ट एक्टर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू इस दुनिया में बहुत बढ़िया बढ़िया एक्टर्स है लेकिन एक एक्टर है जिसे ना तो हॉलीवुड ना ही बॉलीवुड कोई नहीं हरा सकता इस बेचारे का कोई कसूर नहीं आज भी रोना आ जाता है इतनी नेचुरल एक्टिंग की है ना कुत्ते ने कसम से कुत्ता ही लग रहा है व्हाट्स द आई थॉट ही वाज गोना से आई वांट टू हैव बाचन आई थॉट ही वाज गोना से हिमसेल्फ ओह नो आई डिडंट थिंक ही वाज गोना से हिमसेल्फ बिकॉज़ ही वर्क्ड विद अमिताभ बाचन ही डिड या सो दैट्स व्हाई आई इट वाज या की है ना कुत्ते ने कसम से कुत्ता ही लग रहा है व्हाट्स द फनीएस्ट स्लैश वीर्डेस्ट फैन मोमेंट दैट हैड हैपेंड विद यू एक बार मैं मेडिकल स्टोर पे क्रोसिन लेने जा रहा था लेकिन अचानक तुम में से कुछ प्यारे लोग वहां पे आ गए तो मैं सही में क्रोसिन लेके वापस आ गया खैर यही तो तुम लोगों का प्यार है है ना इसमें इस बेचारे का कोई कसूर नहीं वेन आर यू कॉलिंग ओल्ड कैरी बैक रुक जाओ अभी कॉल करता हूं और मुझे ये बात बताओ यार एक वक्त में तुम हेलो अरे छोटे बीज वाले नपुंसक मैं वीडियो बना रहा हूँ हाँ हाँ तो मैं कौन सा यूपीएससी के पेपर दे रहा हूँ ये कौन सी बीमारी है तुझे कितनी बार कहा है अपना लंड तालाब में मत डुबाया कर भूल जाएगा वो अनपढ़ यूपीएससी बीमारी का नाम नहीं है अनपढ़ अनपढ़ किसे कह रहा है मैंने ड्रॉप आउट किया है घंटा फर्क नहीं पड़ता सब बार भी फेल ही कहते हैं अच्छा सुन तू यहाँ आ जाओ भविष्य में जाने का मौसा हाँ वही 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 तेरे को ये आज की कम्युनिटी गाइडलाइन भेज रहा हूँ पढ़ रहा हूँ पढ़ रहा हूँ ओहो हो मार दो मैं नचीला बन के निपलों के बल चलने को तैयार हूँ पर मैं नहीं आऊंगा तू 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 बड़ा टट्टा है ना तू संभाल अबे फट क्यों रही है तेरी साथ मिलके करेंगे ना मेरे मुठिया पेलने का समय हो रहा है तू गु खा ले मुठल रुक जा हेलो हेलो नहीं आ रहा आ रहा तो यार बस आज के लिए सिर्फ इतना ही मुझे माफ कर देना मैं बाकी जरूरी सवाल नहीं ले पाया जैसे कि What if I will ask you for your ass? नहीं नहीं मुझे सही में अफसोस है <laughs> खैर मुझे तुम सबको थैंक यू कहना था क्योंकि चाहे कितनी ही बकचोदी झेलनी पड़ रही हो मैं जहां भी जाता हूं तुम लोग बहुत प्यार देते हो तो उसके लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अब अगर तुम्हें ये वीडियो पसंद आए तो लाइक मारो एम करते हैं तीन मिलियन लाइक्स के लिए और अगर तुम्हें भी डॉक वॉल्ट चाहिए तो आर्कटिक फॉक्स की वेबसाइट पे जाइए ये वाटरप्रूफ के साथ फायर रिटार्डेड oh, है तो आपके सारे कीमती डॉक्यूमेंट्स इसमें सुरक्षित रहेंगे वन कस्टमर राइट हियर लॉन्च डिस्काउंट भी चल रहा है तो फटाफट डिस्क्रिप्शन के लिंक पे क्लिक कीजिए अब तुम लोग गलती से अगर नए हो तो सब्सक्राइब करो बटन उस पर जीजा जी फेंक के मारो या फूफा जी मुझे नहीं पता बस क्लिक हो जाना चाहिए अब मैं भी जा रहा हूं मुझे मुठिया पहनने जाना है बाय वो है तेरे कंचों का शौक मेरी पीठ तोड़ देगा और सो रहा है तो उठ जा अगर उठा हुआ है तो उठ जा इस जमीन की कोई जंजीरे तुझे नहीं रोक सकती हेलो हेलो सावित्री अरे फोन मत किया कर यार मोटिवेशन दे रहा हूं अभी अभी रुक जा यार अरे कल ही तो लेके आया था तू कितना पिया कि फट जाएगी क्या random <laughs> I'm sure that's an inside joke that we just don't get Yeah 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 you know what I appreciate both in this video and in the slay point video that we watched the Q&A video recently while it's a Q&A video it's still edited in a, a really fun way that is still kind of their style sure. you know so I still think that there's a lot of creativity here and a lot of fun is being had in answering the questions although I have to say I mean 
I didn't think a lot of those questions were particularly like hard hitting or insightful or anything. He didn't choose the most sophisticated of questions, but that's probably because he's looking for what is going to yield the most entertainment value. Comedy, yeah, I for mean, sure. he might have considered and and just did away with because there's a lot of repeat questions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure that happens a lot where people ask you the same thing over and over again. It's like, okay, when are you getting married? He got like 20 of them. We only saw 20 of them. <laughs> yeah. Who knows how many they were actually were because he's such a popular creator on Twitter. I'm sure it was just absurd the amount of feedback. I wonder if he's got a team that helps him sort through this because that's probably overwhelming. I know that like I have a video I never put out of when um I got a bunch of Instagram questions. Mm -hmm. I was doing one of those trendy things where it's like, okay, ask me anything. And then yeah. I got so many questions. I was overwhelmed. I'm like, damn, if that's just me, yeah. Jabby Kuwait. I can't imagine how many questions he got off of Twitter. And it's like, I looked at all those. I'm like, I had intended to put out a video answering all the questions. And I was like, you know what? This is too much effort. <laughs> it's too much effort. Yeah. It's just too much. It's like, it, I, I'm getting bored just like going through it. I feel like it, people are going to get bored watching it. That's my fear is people are going to get bored watching it. So, you know, considering that, I'm sure he's thinking, okay, how do I keep people engaged for yeah. nine minutes? So, you know, he did the best he could with that. Answering questions. Yeah. Answering questions he thought would get illicit laughter from the audience. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed the voices he did as well. Yeah. No, you're right. It is hard work. I think that, uh, if, you know, if we're comparing Slay Point and Karen Minotti, I would argue just in this particular instance, please don't come at me in the comments. I'm just saying in this particular instance of q and A, I think that Slay Point goes out of their way to do more complex sketches with oh, the q and A. I agree. Yeah. You know, they are each doing stuff that they, where they excel in their lane. I want to just express my appreciation for what Slay Point does there. Like they were really taking it to the next level. Yeah. Whereas this feels closer to your, you know, run of the mill Q and A mm -hmm. with the Carminati, um essence plugged into it, you know, yeah. in terms of the editing and whatnot. Yeah, for sure. I think it's worth pointing out just one more time how cool it is that he was very honest about why he took time off because he wasn't really taking time off. He was taking time for himself to reinvent himself yeah. with the, the sketches that he was doing and whatnot. I also appreciate that, you know, he shared that he sets a goal for himself every year to do something different. Yeah. I think that's very daring. The cool thing about Carminati though, is while he is deviating from what you're used to seeing from him, it's still within the realm of what he knows his audience will enjoy. I was watching a video about Nigahiga. Mm -hmm. that you know who he is, right? Yeah. And because he's kind of disappeared off the platform, at least that's what the video was saying. And it said that towards the end of his presence on YouTube, he was doing like these one hour um, podcasts. podcasts. Yeah. And he was doing that because YouTube was basically saying that it favors long form videos. And so he just completely abandoned his sketch style. Which is what he was known for yes. and presumably Presumably what he enjoyed. After a while, he was getting sick of doing it. Like sure. a lot of creators, he was getting burnout. Yeah. And so YouTube's like, oh, it's favoring, with the algorithm, it's favoring long form videos. So he just abandoned this thing he'd been doing for years and started doing podcasts and nobody liked it. Yeah. And the risk you run is that you you depart into this new territory and no one likes it because it's so foreign to them, yeah. right? It doesn't make any sense. Whereas what Kerry is doing is smart because it's not an evolution because an evolution would be a slower change. He's doing a complete departure from what you're used to seeing from him, but it still makes sense within the realm of what is palatable for his audience. Sure. If, you know I what mean, I mean? I would argue that it still is somewhat of an evolution. You know, it's just kind of taking... Well, the I, essence is still the same. I think it's closer to the word revolution than evolution because evolution in indicates or implies a slow change, right? Sure. That's not a slow change. To go from doing these commentary videos of just yelling at the camera to... <laughs> to doing a 17 minute sketch or a cartoon. That's a complete departure. That's yeah, a complete revolution sure, sure. from what he was doing before, right? And so he's doing something like completely different, but it still feels appropriate for his already existing content, mm -hmm. if that makes mm -hmm. any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like completely changing tones. Yeah, You know. yeah, absolutely. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Kuwait. this is- Achara Kirk. Peace out.